and today I will be showing you guys how to do and achieve this Valentine's Day makeup look Valentine's Day date makeup look it doesn't have to be for Valentine's Day it could be for anything but I focus it on Valentine's Day because of the purple pink and gold eye shimmery this could be for any occasion for any event but I focus it on Valentine's Day you gotta look cute on Valentine's Day for no one you just be yourself or you could do this look I don't know what tickles your pickle but it's very easy and very natural I wouldn't wear this to school obviously because I don't really know how to do this in the morning and wake up early no but if you guys want to see more of this makeup comment down below and I will talk to you guys later bye guys talk through get ready with me with no makeup if you don't want to hear my voice just you know there's a way how you could take off the volume take off the volume and there's a fast forward version that you could actually somewhere down there I'm not sure but try to do this video really fast. So I'm gonna moisturize my face with my Olay moisturizer. I'm not gonna do, you know, like, whoo, whoo. I'm just gonna use the Olay moisturizer. You guys already know the drill. I'm not gonna try to focus on it. It's gonna take too long. So I just take this much, and I'm not doing my forehead much today because I have something that's gonna be covering my forehead. So I'm just gonna do that. Just a little. So with your excess, just, you know, rub it through your hands because it's in your neck because <laughs> I'm very dry, so. So I'm combination skin because I do get oily, but I am completely dry in certain areas of my face. <sighs> Got this mirror because, whoa, my eyebrows are so messed up. So I'm moving on. We're gonna, if you see me looking down, I got this mirror down here. So moving on to primer, I'm gonna be using this primer, the Nivea Men. If you haven't seen this, this is very famous. I'm gonna use this to prime my face. Little goes a long way, so. Taking a little bit of this and just putting it on the areas I need smoother. <laughs> just applying it to excel. So your makeup would stick on your face. It has glycerin and also gets all tacky, so then that's when you apply your makeup. Oh no, just a little. After that, I'm gonna take my two BB creams right here. I got the Dream Cure BB cream and also the Garnier BB cream, and I mix these two together so it goes faster. So, so after you got it, take your brush. Taking this brush right here, this is the Elf Professional Powder Brush. I'm just gonna take the product and just blend it into my face. So sorry, I got you up close and personal. Moving on to concealer, I'm going to be only using one concealer today. I'm going to be using the Insta Age Rewind Eraser Dark Spot Concealer with no cap right here. Because I just took it off right when I got it. But I'm going to be applying this all over my dark circles and also dark spots. With my Neutrogena Skin Clearing Powder, Elf Professional Total Face Brush is just this nice fluffy brush right here. So uh, thank you mom and dad for this this brush set because they're amazing. Pat it onto my skin. This camera is making me look not as pigmented on the skin, but I am. Yeah, we're gonna contour. And I'm gonna be taking the Lorac Pro Palette contouring and stuff. That's from Love Princess O, so I want to say thank you at the P class. I'm going to be taking this brush right here by Elf 2. It's a professional contouring brush or bronzing brush. And I'm going to be taking the light shade right here. It's called Light Contour. <laughs> Chalky a bit. It's called the Light Contour. Okay, try to tap it. Tap it first. It's the shade Shimmer Highlights. I'm not a highlighty person, but you know, I'm just gonna wing it like I always do. Putting it up here on my cheekbones. Very natural. Taking the yellow powders right here, the two top ones, yellow highlight and beige highlight. Put it under my bags to highlight. On two brows, I'm gonna just do this real quick. I'm um, not doing a tutorial or anything. I'm gonna take the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette, which we got from AP Class as well. Taking Milk Chocolate, Triple Fudge, and also Semi Sweet. Milk Chocolate in the front part of the brow, Semi Sweet towards the end, and then really towards the end of the tail is Triple Fudge. So I'm gonna take these three shades and do my eyebrows real quick. Doing them a little bit thicker now because my hair is pretty dark and thick. Now I'm going to be taking my concealer, um, just any concealer that you want. I just take this one right here. I'm going to take it with this e.l.f. Professional Eyeliner Brush that I use to clean my brows. I'm just going to clean them up real quick, so yeah. 
Now I'm going to blend out this concealer with an e.l.f. professional foundation brush. I'm just really lazy to just, you know, blend it with my fingers. So I'm going to use this. Do you need something, Jella? So we're going to amp up this face a little bit by adding a little bit more of the contour shades. I'm going to be taking medium contour, doing whatever is happening, to contour and define my face a little more. Alright, so I'm going to start off by taking the NYX concealer. This is just a nice concealer that I'm going to use for the eyes today to prime the eyes. So I'm going to use that. So for today, I'm going to be using the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette. Great shadow, great shades. You see how great they are? They're really pretty. I'm going to use this today. So I'm going to speed this up first. And I'm going to show you guys how I do the right, the left eye, which is the right eye for you guys. Probably. I'm not sure. The left eye, right eye. It's my left eye. I'll show you guys how I do it after I do one eye. So did this gold eye with brown, gold eye. I don't know. It was just very different. So first off, what I did was, okay, so I'm going to start off by taking this nice beigey color and I'm going to put this all over the lids. It's going to be the nice blending color. It's in the shade Salted Caramel and I'm going to put this all over the crease so everything will blend in evenly. So now we're going to jump into the dark colors. Usually I would go slowly. I would actually go light to dark. But today I'm just going to go wing it. I use this burnt orange color kind of-ish with a mixture of this Burberry burgundy color in the shade Cherry Cordial. And those two shades, I put it onto the crease and just blend it out. As you can tell, it got darker. And try to keep the inner part, like the lid, empty so then you could add your gold shimmer. Taking this blending brush, I'm just going to take the same shade as before, Salted Caramel, and blending it out. Now I'm going to be taking Cherry Cordial, mixing all these colors basically. Cherry Cordial, um, Semi Sweet, Purple Fudge, and Black Forest. Taking all those four shades, and we're going to deepen up the eye. These two shades right here, this is a really nice deep color. Focus it onto the outer part so you can deepen up the eye. Now I'm going to be taking my Mario Badescu Facial Spray and it just looks like this, a spray, okay? I'm just going to take this e.l.f. Professional Eyeshadow Brush and bring that so then we could add the glitter. I'm going to be taking Creme Brulee and just patting the brush on there like so. And we're going to just apply it onto the lids. Taking a crease brush and just blending that out. So now you're done with the eyes, you could do all your eyeliner. I'm not the type to put on eyeliner, but I'm going to be taking this Maybelline New York ICO eyeliner and just applying eyeliner for today and trying this out. So don't judge me if I mess up. I'm not, you know, an eyeliner person, but I will attempt. They're not the same. Well, I gave up on eyeliner. I'm sorry, I'm not an eyeliner person and it's not on fleek today, as always. Now I'm just gonna do finishing touches and just like fixing the transition. As you can tell, it's like really burnt right here, so. Okay, I tried to fix it. It just get, keeps getting thicker. Like, like, what is that? I don't know. I'm gonna add a little pop of color by taking purple. This is called Candid. Candid Violet is just this. As you can tell, it's, it's a nice purple color with a little bit of reflex. But we're gonna be applying that in the underlash line.
just like so. Speaking of my bite lipstick in the shade Musk, I'm gonna be putting this all over my lips, so still red stuff. And if you wanted to, you could amp it up a little bit by taking your favorite NYX lip cream or any gloss you want. I'm just gonna take this pink lip gloss in the shade Istanbul. But it's a good excuse, but I love to use, baby. I know what to do, baby. I, I will love you. I'll love you. I'll love you. Love. So I hope you guys all enjoyed. Please subscribe, like, rate, and if you guys have any more requests, please comment down below. Check out my last video. Subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye, guys.